Hi there. Now for this next part, part C, we're asked to find the exact value of E of X for this probability distribution. So just give you a moment to pause the video if you'd like to have a go at this and haven't had a chance to do it. And when you come back, as usual, I'll take you slowly through the methods. OK, welcome back then if you had a go. So in order to find E of X, the expected value of X, or some people call it the mean, then what we need to be familiar with is this result here, that E of X for a discrete random variable is going to be the sum of the observed values times the probability of that observed value. And so for this one, what we've got then is for x being 2, it's going to be 2 times its probability, which will be 2k. So you've got 2 times 2k. And then it's the sum of, so plus, when x is 4, it's going to be 4 times its probability of 4k, and so on. OK, so we'll next have 6 times 6k. And when x is 8, it'll be 8 times 6k, OK? 8 times 6k there. Just get that in there, 6k. And if you total this up, what you end up with is a total of 104k. But we found out in part A that k equals 1 18th. And so therefore, this is going to be equal to 104 divided by 18. And that comes out at exactly 52 over 9. 52 ninths, okay?